Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got a mess behind me, but pay the mess no attention. I just want to say to everybody who watched this video right here, thank you so much to everyone who showed support. I had no idea that it was going to blow up like that. I just wanted to like document my pregnant life or I don't know, just my life in general. So a lot of shit happened. So first of all, let me just say I removed the clinic's name from the video because persons were um, heading over to the clinic and like giving bad reviews and whatnot and then um, I think a doctor or a couple of doctors a couple of OBGYNs they came on my video talking shit calling me foreigner without common sense or whatnot if you see the Japanese comments you can like try to translate it you know whatever yeah i never said anything bad about them i only spoke about my experience and what happened i didn't add anything i didn't leave anything out so yeah that's that fuck that clinic they can kiss my ass and it's just amazing to know that how would i say half japanese persons commented and a couple of them messaged me and then they let me know like how life has been for them here um being half black half japanese how hard it has been for them and the fact that they are working on moving out of japan which is crazy am i scared for like my daughter's well-being i am a little bit scared but you know she got badass parents so bring it on motherfuckers yeah i just want to talk about the fact that my husband my but i don't want to say baby daddy because i know people are gonna say oh my gosh you're so ghetto like quit with the baby daddy stuff whatnot but yeah my baby's father my husband my man my dude my nigga my asian butterfly he won't be able to be in the delivery room with me and it's like it's a really big downer for me he wanted to try to find like other places where i could give birth you know where he could probably be accepted but the chance of finding one is pretty hard because of the whole corona thing the whole covid thing whatever if you're wondering why it's because of the whole covid situation i don't know it's just kind of weird to me and i'm really 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 sad about it because i'm just like yo we asked them okay if he got a corona test would he still be able to come in they still said no and it's just it's just weird to me it don't make any sense to me because like hey what if i'm sick like i know for a fact that yo if i have covid and i push my baby out i won't be able to hold her much less see well yeah i will be able to see her but if i'm sick i won't be able to hold her and the thing is i am more scared about the doctors and nurses there because they are the ones who are like around sick people all day every day hello how do i know that you're not sick and you're the one who's gonna help me to deliver my baby you're gonna be the one to look after my baby so i'm just uh, my head is just like all over the place skin to skin time with mom is very important i don't know if skin to skin is a thing in every country but i think it is um important for like with dads as well and i feel like when the father of the child is involved in like the labor and delivery i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it's like it makes them i don't know like feel more involved like in the in the child's life and like in everything like giving birth is a really big thing your lady she's about to give birth she's off in the room and you're out here in the halls waiting for her to give birth and then okay boom the baby's born so they they bring the baby out to show you or you get to like go in the room and see the baby like oh yeah this is my baby it's so cool oh my gosh thank you jesus my baby's here blah 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 but like when you're there seeing her deliver the baby i like it's just a whole nother level you know what i mean
but it's not for everybody it's not for every guy because um this girl on my snapchat she told me like her sister was giving birth and like the baby's father was there and he saw the whole process and homeboy he didn't want to smash after that because of like he was just traumatized pretty much that's what she was saying and like she was saying it's probably the best that my husband don't see the whole process because he might be traumatized by the whole situation by seeing everything i mean i don't know he wants to be there though i went to visit um the doctor with my mother-in-law we talked about it with her that was the very first time they told me no he can't be in the delivery room yo i wanted to ball but i held it in i held it in for the whole day and i was texting my husband letting him know like everything and like i was really pissed so when he got home and i looked into his eyes i just started bawling because like I really want him to be there and he really wants to be there as well but I don't know I guess shit happens you know I don't know whatever not only he can't be in the delivery room but he's not able to see her he's not able to touch her or anything until I leave the hospital which is freaking crazy and again because of the whole COVID situation it's a newborn baby um, she needs to build up her immune system and hey even though you might have a strong immune system um, COVID can still fuck you up so I mean I get it it's just a really messed up situation to be in some persons were like why would anybody want to have a baby in a pandemic listen bitch I wanted to have a baby this year within this year or last year I ain't gonna wait and who knows how long Kobe will be here for I can't argue with the hospital because I don't know like okay I'm a little pissed because of one the government and two the people the whole COVID situation like it was getting better the numbers were getting low we were out of quarantine we were able to go wherever we want to go we were able to do whatever we want to do and then the government decided that they wanted to do this go to travel campaign so it's it's basically like you get some dope ass coupons to like fly travel wherever and eat wherever for a ridiculously low price like i get it it's for the economy you know government shit so boom now covid is like out of control all over again and we're back in quarantine all over again this place looks like a ghost town by eight o'clock i mean i could care less because i'm not out anyways it's cold i don't want to be out but i'm pissed but what can i do there are people out there who just don't care about this whole corona thing at all there are people who are still partying a majority of people don't want to wear their mask like there's nothing more that we can do or say like if people don't care about covid they just don't care and they will never care i feel like there's nothing that we can do to make people care yeah that's just a little update that i have for you guys <sighs> i can't wait to meet her um i have less than 20 days to give birth i am really nervous really anxious to meet her i just uh, i don't know i i feel it for my husband more than myself because like he won't be able to see the delivery he won't be able to see her until days after the first moment of her life he won't be able to experience i forgot to mention that there is this article online that you guys can read about the whole situation there are a lot of fathers out there who feel the exact same way um mothers as well here in japan who feel the exact same way the fact that fathers are to be banned from the delivery room and this time blah, blah blah like it's just it's a once in a lifetime freaking experience like what if this is is my only child god forbid because i love babies and i want more babies i want a lot of babies yeah that was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching oh you probably want to see my belly so i'm gonna stand up a little bit so you can see my belly so she has oh and she's kicking right now this is my belly i think she has dropped a little bit um she's head down which is amazing i can feel her feet everywhere sometimes i feel her feet like here and sometimes i feel it like up here as well so again yes that was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and
I'll see you in the next one. I'm sad AF, but I'm just trying to put on a smile for y'all because we gotta we gotta stay happy and jolly up in this bitch. I mean Christmas Christmas is already gone, but you know we gotta stay jolly, you know. Bye.